Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is part two of this. Earlier today, I did a video on this endless circle pattern. And I started thinking, I'm just going to use an oval. And I actually just took a zero. And if you didn't watch part one, I put it in the envelope box. And this is pretty cool within itself, but we can add to it. So I'm going to control D, double click on the rotation and move the rotation of there to the center of the page is not there. A lot of times I find it's easier to come off the page and then click back on it. And there it is. And then we're going to rotate it just like in the first video. We're already at 90 degrees, so we need to go 30 more. So you can see it's going to join and it's going to weld. So let's add a little bling to this one. Let's, um, let's take a three-point line and go from there to there and then give it a little bit of curve and maybe go from here to way over here and give it like a curve. And now we're gonna take both these lines and we're gonna make them something other than a hairline. That's too thick, something like that. And we need to make sure they're really past the item that we're gonna to weld to. So, so we're gonna move that up there, move that up there, move this down here move that down there. Now, with both those lines selected, I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to convert the outline to an object. Then I'm going to left click, right click, and you see what I get. Now I'm going to take everything and I'm going to weld it. Well, didn't work. So let's try this. Let's group this together, control G. Let's move it out of the way for just a second and make sure our circle is all one piece. There was my problem, I had a duplicate on it. So let's move this back. Now it should weld. There we go. And if we fill it in with black later, it's gonna be pretty cool. So now we can tr control D and make a duplicate of that. Double click on the X and move it to the center. Doesn't look like it is, but we do it again and it is. And now this time, since a new object, we're gonna rotate it 30 degrees and you can see it touching. So now we're gonna control D all the way around. And when we do that and we select all this and go up to weld, it's going to weld that. And then if we take the smart fill tool and, well, we'll use that blue. That's what we're going to get. And you could do anything inside there. You know, I could have changed them. Uh, that's a pretty cool graphic. But, you know, you could put a circle and have lines coming off the circle. You could put a star in there. Let's just do that real quick. Then take just a second. Let's back up here. Now I always want to make sure I only had one copy there. So I'm going to move one out of the way. And sure enough, I had two. Matter of fact, I need to go up before I weld them. There we go. And make sure we just have one. I did move it, so I'm going to move it back. Now I'm going to take a star, which is underneath your polygon flyout. And I'm going to create a star. And I'm just going to manually move it. And I don't even have to be in the center. I could be somewhere like in there. Now I can grab both these and I could have made it a little bit smaller and I could weld that. Now I can control D and make a duplicate. Even though it's off center, it's gonna uh, still rotate and touch because we tested it. Now we're gonna rotate that 30 degrees, control D all the way around. I'm just hitting control D continuously. Now let's grab all that, go up and weld that. And then let's let's use a different color this time. Let's use a red. And there you go. You've got an endless star pattern. It would have looked a little bit better if I would have made the star maybe <clears throat> not touching quite so much. So it looked more like a star. And you could still do more with that. We've still got an outline there. So I'm going to take away the outline. And you could take, let's just add a little bit. Let's go, uh, let's put a blue on this side and a blue on this side. And realistically, you need to put a blue on this side. Now we're gonna grab all three of those items. So there's one, two, three. You can see we've got three objects selected. Go Control G to group it. Double click on the rotation and move it. So we can rotate now, we can rotate just the blue by rotating 30 degrees. I did not make a copy or a duplicate, so I can go Control Z or D to duplicate it. I can go back to zero and then Control D all the way around. 
pretty good way to make things. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.